For the first time since Indiana's undefeated season in 1975-1976, IU has taken down three opponents in the top five. The difference between the 75-76 squad and this year's Hoosiers is that Bobby Knight's team had to wait until the tournament to notch those second and third wins. Well, it's the first time in the history of Indiana that an Indiana team has won three top five games in the regular season. So that's something they can all take with them. And, and uh, that, that's remarkable, considering where we have been. But uh, before I talk more about the game, the thing I'm most proud of with this team as we continue to get better is every one of them have earned it. Us players, uh, we really got together and uh, we were sick of losing, sick of the, uh, the way that the past couple of seasons have gone um, since I've been here and I know for the seniors as well. Um, so it's been a huge year for us and it's a, definitely a great accomplishment for this program and for this university um, to get three top ten wins in uh, one season. So um, it was great. I think it has helped us, you know, uh, play in an atmosphere, crazy atmosphere like this. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it helped us, you know, to be in a current situation. Um, you really didn't get too close at the end like you did the other two games. But, I mean, just playing against top tier uh, opponents like, like, those, like those two and, and other guys, uh, it just it helped us be pre more prepared for this. Christian Watford excelled on both sides of the ball in the 70 to 55 Hoosier win. In addition to scoring in double figures for the 18th time this season, Seawatt also pulled down a career high 14 rebounds. Indiana is now 16 and 2 when Watford scores at least 10 points. Uh, the job Christian Watford did defensively is where I would start uh, with talking about him. Obviously, had a double double, but the eight deflections, the job he did on Keith Appling, then the job of, of going into Draymond Green, I thought that was big. Uh, we just knew it was going to, you know, they attacked the boards more more on the road. I, mean, I think they had just like 16, 16 offensive rebounds on the road, so I mean, we knew it was going to come. I, mean, I just wanted to be a best player to the Oh, you know, uh, but he's a, first of all, he's a phenomenal player, you know. Um, he has improved so much, and just the energy he brings on the offensive rebounds, uh, getting still, he's so active and long. You know, I mean, he just he brings it on both ends, you know. Uh, and he's so explosive with the ball screen, a ball screen that you know he gets all the layups and he creates with others. With the win, IU improved to 17 and one at home with one game remaining, and that game just happens to be against our rival Purdue. If Indiana could notch a win against the Boilermakers, it would secure their best home record in five years, proving that it really is sweet to play at home. From Assembly Hall, I'm AJ Shub, Hoosier Sports Night.